What's up everybody, Ascended Zombie here with the new Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies episode. This one's called Floating Cells of Hell by Muffled XD. I've heard this map is really, really dark, so... And uh, I haven't uh, played it yet, so let's check it out. Now we're just playing solo today. Not sure if anyone will join in later, but we'll see. <clears throat> I got the Christmas tree up beside me, as you can see. It's uh, around Christmas time. And uh, we'll definitely have some Christmas videos coming at you. I don't know when I'm going to post this video, but... Uh, I guess you guys will see it when you see it. Alright, so I do see a ray gun right there off the bat. It looks really, really nice. Uh, lots of detail. It's uh, body parts sticking off the walls, and yeah, let's buy some quick revive. That's a cool spot for zombies to spawn, actually. <laughs> the body's glitching out a little bit. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the comments on this map, people were asking for a torch or a flashlight. And I guess I can see why, but uh, hopefully you guys can see the video alright. Uh, I do have the brightness a little bit higher than the actual in-game brightness, so... I should be able to see it a little bit better on the video than even I can see it. box. Uh, the KN44 is always a solid choice, man. It costs a little bit more than the box, but you know what you're getting. I might just go for that. An extra 500 points is not bad in the long run of things. Oh god, we have freaking Brutus spawning. Oh man. That's a good thing I had enough for the KN right there. I'm gonna go on next round right away and take advantage of this double points. Oh, we can actually go in here in the pack of punch room by jumping and crouching. Ah, oh, frick! Wow. Missed the double points. What a pro player I am, huh? That's alright, we probably wouldn't have benefited much from it. There's not a whole lot of zombies spawning. <coughs> No points from the perks. Oh, power switch. Sweet. The perks don't light up? Oh man. Wow, the perks don't light up. That sucks. That'd be a nice touch to this map. As if the perks light lit up a little bit. That'd actually be a really, really nice touch if the perks lit up. Since the map is so dark, it kind of highlights the perks a little bit more, but... It definitely makes them look dull and uninteresting. Alright, so we didn't really see any doors, huh? Well, 
What's with the chair outside the window? It looks a little odd. A little curious. Oh shit, we got Brutus coming. So I did not see any other like openable doors anywhere either. And uh there's no information on this map really. It just gives a little bit of a on the map page it just gives a little bit of a description it doesn't uh it doesn't give any details about any specific things that are in the map but it's looking like this is actually it i don't think there is Anything else to be seen? No other doors to open. Yeah. It is a nice little map though. I feel like uh, the map maker wanted to focus on detail more than an extensive map. Trying to remember where double tap was. I don't remember seeing double tap anywhere. Speed cola and jug, stamina up. Um. Oh yeah, there's double tap right there. Okay. Alright, I found a pretty good camping spot right here by Speed Coal. It actually has a escape route uh, right next to the railing there. You can drop down if you really need to. The other side is pretty good too, but there's no escape if the zombies trap you in right here. You do have a little bit more room on this side, so it's kind of give or take. So both of those spots are really good for camping. Um, you can also camp by the box down here. This is also decent here, but I mean the zombies kind of had a, have a wide path right here. You can't really line them up too well. But uh, I am going to see real quick if there is a perk limit or not. Um, stamina up is the only other perk on the map. No, there's not. Okay. So. That is it for perks. So uh, I'm just going to get some points and uh, pack a punch here and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so the spot over by Speed Cool is actually not a good spot to camp because the zombies actually drop down from that hole. So it's quite dangerous. Nice death machine. Yeah, see they drop down right there, so there's not a whole lot of room, so over here is better. And we now have enough to pat both weapons, so we're going to go do that. No mule kick on this map, so I won't be packing three weapons. Alright. Yeah, 
And for some reason, at the end of the round, all the zombies, like, spawn over by Quick Revive. They all get stuck, like, down here. For some reason, I don't know, at the end of the round, you always have to come down here and shoot the zombies. It's kind of an odd thing, but... And there's always one that spawns back in the prison cell area, so you... I don't know. I don't know what's with that, but at the end of the round, you just have to go down by Quick Revive and finish off the zombies. So I think I'll do one more round here for you guys. I think you've seen enough of the map. We've covered everything, so... Doesn't seem to be a Bible ending or anything like that, so... But yeah, we'll just do one more round with the pack-punched weapons, and then we'll call it. Grab this nuke so we don't have to go over by Quick Revive and shoot those zombies. Alright, I'm going to end things off here. Thanks for watching everybody. That's been Floating Cells of Hell and Ascended Zombie out.